Yade and welcome to Four Directions of Wellness. I'm Roberta Diswit, Topa Hanishla, Sisakadni Bashishin, Nakaida Nadeshache, Hanahi Deshanela. Miss Navajo Nation 2023 2024, Amy Begay was crowned during the Navajo Nation Fair at the Window Rock Sports Center. Since that moment, she has been on the road visiting communities, universities, senior centers, schools, and many other places across the Navajo Nation and beyond. We are honored that she took time out of her busy schedule to visit with us here at Northern Navajo Medical Center in Shiprock in Four Directions of Wellness. Thank you, Amy, for being here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, yeah, it's Eshik Edo Shadine, Shay, Amy, and Osba Begay, Yanishke, Adona, and Shinigi, Abit, and Ninish Law, Nash Edit Hopan Bushes Chin, Hushk on the Doha Dashache, Otto Kinya Ani, A Dashanella, and Late Cordinesha, Otto Bacopet Squat, the IEC Nasha, Shema Doshe, A Ode Sereves do Leroy Begay, will ye? Shema Sana, A Lorraine Reeves, will ye? Shanella, son, A Lily Begay, will ye? Shiche do Shanella has Tien, Leo Reeves Senior, Otto Henry George Begay Senior, William and Otto Gianna Ze Il Inigi, Bithnaz de Igi E by Inishka, Inlay Arizona State University de Kache, now by Hopich Eke, Nakitamil Doba on Nadine Scott, Otto Nakitamil Doba on Nadine Dean Nishlin. Well, thank you, uh, Miss Diswood, for having me here. I'm really very thankful and honored to be here. Well, thank you again. Mm -hmm. And so, as Miss Navo Nation, um, what is your platform? So my platform, I had to really think about my platform and what I wanted to share. Um, but mostly when I became Miss Navajo Nation, I had thought about it throughout the week and I had prayed about it because that was one of the things that I was taught was to always pray about something before I make a huge decision. And so I thought, okay, the only thing that comes to my mind is I want to share who I am and where I come from, and that was to share my personal home values. And so um, a little background story is I grew up with my grandparents, and so I wanted to share those teachings that my that my Che had left behind for me. And so, and that's what got me through my personal experiences, like going through school and through trials and tribulations and things like that. But for my platform though, um, so this coming year, I wanted to promote higher education. Um, I am really passionate about that because of my, of my late grandfather. That is the only thing he ever asked of my sisters and I was to attain higher education. So I would like to um, promote that. Um, and also I would love to promote um, my home values of respecting others and respecting yourself and really just just the basics of the fundamental home values of just being respectful mm -hmm. to, to everybody. So those are the three things that I um, would like to share from my platform. Okay, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So as you mentioned, the things that you wish to accomplish with your platform, what activities have you been able to do? So I'm on to my third month now, and um, it's been really a joy but also with that, I have come to realize that as Miss Navajo Nation, I am, I have a very huge role. And so I represent everybody here on the Navajo Nation, but also to our extended relatives in urban areas. So some of the projects that I am working on right now, um, but also that will be forthcoming in the springtime is I actually, um, have my bachelor's in public health and population health. And then the other thing is, before I became Miss Navajo, I was a master's student at Arizona State uh, with a concentration in medical nutrition. And with my medical nutrition background, I want to be able to do a cooking series. Um, so with the cooking series, of course, we want to incorporate a lot of our traditional um, home-cooked meals, um, just because for me, that my grandmother has um, type two diabetes and so we really wanted to maintain her insulin levels and so one of the things is I wanted to learn how to incorporate a lot of like squash corn and so um, I'm really thankful that my, my that my program at ASU is willing to help partner with me with that and so just a lot of different things and also to work with um, all of the divisions within the Navajo Nation they've been really supportive of everything and the last one is I want to do a lot of STEM projects just because a lot of our high school students here, um, when I was in high school, if I feel like if I had more opportunities within 
the STEM areas, I would be able to know what I would want to do in college. And so as, um, as I'm promoting higher education, of course, we want a lot of our students to know STEM pro programs. So those are just a few things that I'm working on. So how has your background helped you to lead you to this point in your life? Uh, like I mentioned, I went to school in St. George, Utah. That's where I was for six years. Um, I went to school at, um, it was formerly known as Dixie State University, but now it's known as Utah Tech University. And so during my time there, I was able to work with um, other tribal communities that are located there. And that's where my leadership position started to grow. Um, so I ended up working with a lot of like the urban students there um, within the Washington County and Bloomington counties and also working with the Paiute tribe um, in Cedar City and also the Paiute band of Utah. And so with those, I feel like they really encouraged me to know more about my culture and my traditions and also to start just, just to start studying who I am and just to be more involved in my community. And so just doing those little things uh, while I was away at school, I think really helped me. And also with that, um, with being a master's student, it really has taught me that I really need to work on my time management. <laughs> and also <laughs> like um, with being with Navajo, also just to be really open with others because uh, personally, I see myself as a, as a really introvert person. And so all of just being in school, just just being, I guess, a part of any program, just just be out there. And so I think just doing those little things help help me become who I am. That's really interesting. And I sure a lot of people have those type of feelings and feel that way. Mm -hmm. So what are your future plans when you complete your reign as Miss Navajo Nation? So. When my time ends as Miss Navajo Nation, um, I actually will be taking advantage of uh, the Miss Navajo Nation scholarship program. So that's one thing that um, not a lot of our young women know is that now Miss Navajo Nation, once you complete your reign, uh, you are given a scholarship to go back to school. And so with that, um, after my reign, I'm gonna go back to ASU and finish the last part of my master's program. Mm -hmm. And I will be applying into um, RD school to become a registered dietitian. Um, so those are some of like my little goals, but my lifelong goals that um, I want to share is since I talked about how important my family is, I know eventually, I mean, I'm only 25 years old, but within the next few years, I want to be able to create my own family so that way I'm able to share my experiences with my future family and also just to build, just to build that little home that I've always, um, that I've been encouraged to have. And so, so yeah, those are my life goals. And those are different paths that people take. And it's really, you know, great to be able to share what you know mm -hmm. with, with a future family. Is there any message of encouragement that you have for the youth? I do. So as I've gone across the Navajo Nation and also when I've traveled um, out of state, the one thing that I come in contact with so many youth, whether they're Navajo, whether they're coming from different tribal communities, and the one thing I wanted to share with them all is, of course, is my platform of attaining higher education. But with that, I want to tell our youth that we are, we are very beautiful, intelligent people as indigenous people and so for me when I was taught was with the knowledge that you are given you are you either take it full advantage of those opportunities or you or you don't and so with that I want to tell our youth that do not let anybody deter you from your goals and your aspirations in life because I say that because there were times where I doubted myself and one of them was running for Miss Navajo Nation because I felt like I wasn't the most perfect person, you know, I, that I didn't measure up to that. But with my family support and also like personal prayer and things like that, I thought, okay, I'm going to try my best and I'm going to put myself out there to show that, to show the youth that if I can do hard things that are just way out of my comfort zone, they can do the same, which means that if they want to 
become doctors, lawyers, nurses, and those are the type of careers that we're, that we're really needing here at home. And so if they have the willingness and the, det- and the determination, do not let anybody deter you. Just keep going, keep trying, and that's all we ask them to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to thank you, Ms. Namaho, for being here. Mm-hmm. This has been Four Directions of Wellness, Hogornet.